Hey folks, in this episode, we take a short cruise up and down the Mississippi River, make a quick stop at a quirky roadside attraction, and visit the air park at Scott Air Force Base in Illinois. All aboard! Make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss our next adventure. This day was one Mrs. Dobbs' squad had been looking forward to for a long time. She'd been to the arch years before, but the rest of the squad hadn't seen it yet. After the tram ride to the top, lunch, and a museum visit, it was time to hop on the Tom Sawyer for a short cruise. This must be a flood wall. Uh, I bet you're right. Look, here's the flood wall information. It tells you how high it is. Okay, it's the Gateway Arch Riverboat Cruise. We opted for a combo deal, tram tickets, and a cruise. There's no charge to get into the museum. It was about $130 to do both the tram and the cruise. Of course, there's a gift shop and a cafe window here. Do you guys remember walking across this river? Yes, I do. Here's some canoers. There are a number of outfitters that offer riverfront trips by canoe. One of them is called Big Muddy Adventures. I'm not sure if these boaters are with that outfit or not. Oh, there's a ranger guide. We love a ranger guide. We usually love ranger-led tours. This one was fine. He gave his presentation over the PA system, and it was a little hard to hear. It wasn't as interactive as the one we did on Baker Island in Maine. Yes, 40 city blocks. The ranger is talking about the Jefferson Expansion National Memorial Project. One of its initial purposes was to improve the poor condition of the neighborhood set in the original streets of St. Louis. The park was renamed Gateway Arch National Park in 2018. The Ashley Street Powerhouse was built in 1902. The Eads Bridge is a rail and car bridge that connects East St. Louis and St. Louis. Construction began in 1867 and was completed in 1874. A visit to Gateway Arch is definitely worth the time and expense. I'll put links in the description for the National Park Service and the tram tour. 
What'd you say? Is that John Hedgehog? Why is it on? Why is it on the base of a water tower? All right, here we are, beautiful Collinsville, Illinois, and behind me is the world's largest castle bottle. Ah yes, from the sublime to the ridiculous, a great monument to a quirky one. We found this one using the RoadsideAmerica.com app. It's a fun little resource, worth it if you're a traveler. This property has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the National United States Department of the Interior. Brooks Cats a Bottle Water Tower. After dinner, with plenty of ketchup, we headed back to the campground at Rend Lake. On the way, we stopped by Scott Air Force Base. Look, they have a visitor center. I wonder if they have a bathroom. Oh, they're open till 8 o'clock. We had a big day in the St. Louis area, and we don't really want to go home yet. So we're going to stop at the Scott Field Air Heritage Park. At least I think that's what it's called. I'll put it you know, the right name down there. Here we go. Okay, it's the Scott Field Heritage Air Park. They got some big jets here. I remember my sister talking about Mack flights when her husband was in the Army. And I think that's what this is, Military Airlift Command. If you are familiar with this and you want to talk about it in the comments, feel free. Kitty Hawk to this in six years. In only 60 years. Yeah. Why aren't we going to this one? Because that one. <laughs> because that one. Hey, this plane was loaned to this display from the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force. That's one of our favorite places ever. Ooh, this is a big plane. Is this a C-130? Daddy, it's a C-130E Hercules. Two years after the first one was created, this one's created. I just can't believe how in 60 years, from Kitty Hawk to these things. Like, that's insane. The star of all jets. Two giant fuse lodge. Oh, giant engine. There are six engines. No, these are fuel tanks, I think. Air Heritage Park is a quick, free roadside attraction worth a stop. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we take a nice drive through the southern Illinois countryside to visit the Garden of the Gods and Bell Smith Springs. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, like and share this video, and comment below.